Hey kiddos, this is Mr. V, the good teacher. Welcome to Dividing Decimals now. So when we are dividing decimals, it's very different from adding, subtracting, and multiplying decimals because it's a lot more complicated and it involves almost all the other basic operations. For this, you should also be able to know your multiplication tables. Now, when it comes to rewriting this equation, you have to do it like this. The second number goes on the outside, 0.12. The first number goes on the inside, 3.45. Now, now our equation is this. We have 0 0.12 divided by 3.45. Now, before we do that, we have to get rid of this zero. The way we do that is we move this decimal point. If, since there's only one zero, we only need to move this decimal point one time to the right. You only move this decimal point if there's a zero in the beginning. If there's a zero in the beginning, you just move it one time to the right until you get a whole number replacing it. So it should look like this, 1.2, okay? So that means I move this decimal point right here. Now, whatever I do to this number over here, I have to do to this number. So if I move this decimal point one time to the right, I gotta move this decimal point one time to the right. So now it should look like this. 3, 4.5, okay? That's how it should look like. Now, when it comes to dividing decimals, you're going to ignore the decimal point. You're gonna pretend it's not there, okay? At least for now. Can the number 12 go inside three, four? Well, we'll go little by little. Can the number 12 go inside three? No. That's zero times. Can the number 12 go inside 34? Yes, it can. It can go inside 34 at least two times. So we'll put the two here. Now here comes the part where you need to know how to multiply. The number up top is gonna be multiplied to the number on the outside. So two times 12 is 24. And then you're going to subtract that number. So 34 minus 24 is 10, okay? What's next? Well, we forgot about this five. We're gonna drop it down. So now this 10 becomes a 105. Now we need to figure out how many times this 12 goes inside 105. If you know your multiplication tables, the answer is eight. At this point, you're probably asking, oh, when do I put the decimal point? Don't worry about the decimal point yet. There's a trick for that. So let's see how many times, oh, sorry. So now we're going to do eight times 12 and eight times 12 is what it is 96. Okay. And then we're going to subtract 105 minus 96 is nine. We are not done yet. Now we have to put our decimal point because we've already utilized all the numbers here. We put our decimal point here at the end, okay? Don't worry about this. Leave this alone. Just focus on the top. Dividing decimals is a little complicated, but once you get it, it'll be simple. Now we have to add a zero. We're gonna drop down this zero. And this nine becomes a 90, okay? So now we gotta figure out how many times 12 goes inside 90. Can anyone take a guess? It's very simple, it's seven. 12 goes inside 90 seven times. And then we repeat the process. Seven times 12 is what? It is 84. I'm gonna move my little chart up a bit so you guys can see it better. Now, we're gonna do 90 minus 84, and that is going to give us six. And then we'll do one more zero, and we drop it down. So now this six becomes a 60. If you know my multiplication tables, the 12 goes inside 65 times. 
five times 12 is 60. And because our equation has no remainder, this is the answer. It's going to be 28.75. Now, when it comes to adding and dividing decimals, I always like to confirm my answer. So let's try it. So I did 3.45 divided by 0 0.12. And the answer is 28.75. That's what I got here. So I confirm my answer and my method works. So now I want you guys to practice that. When it comes to practicing at home, you can use your calculators only to confirm your answer and to see if the work you did was correct. I hope this video helps you guys and I hope it prepares you for what comes in the future. Take care, little ones. Bye.